Are you tired of facing those mid ladder toxic strategies like e barbs Rage, or Mega Knight every battle? If so, I have the perfect strategy for you. Or about one like your Bowler Graveyard Double Inferno Freeze deck. You have the Bowler and the Valkyrie to absolutely shred through those Elite Barbarians or those Mega Knights. The Double Inferno for destroying all of those heavier cards, and if they have any reset like Electro Wizard or E Dragon, just freeze it down for your Inferno destruction. Then you have the power combo of Graveyard and Freeze to go on the counter push and destroy your opponent hopes and dreams. All right, don't be getting us our dear friend Ultra, whatever his name is. I'm gonna go guards back here. Oh my God, an insane go guards, my friend, go in there. I really wish I would have had Bowler there. Bowler would have been the absolute perfect response for all of these spawning spears, but unfortunately, oh no. Giant Melton to the opposite side of the arena. We're gonna yoink it over with a Valkyrie right here, boys and girls. One of these. Should pull the Giant Melly over, right? Fucking destroys that as well. I would go arrows right now. I'm not too sure what he was trying to do with that though. Let's go one of these. Yes, we got it down. Melty, uh, make a mini, please. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna go grave right here, boys and girls. Then we're gonna freeze his tower. He's super low on the looks right now. Oh, he's got poison, but watch this. That goes in there. He's got not, he's not getting hit by the poison. Oh. Oh, we got some good tower damage done though. Not the best, but like, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know, dudes. Either way, though, we focus out a miner from him. Guards go in there. And now we have Bowler in hand. If he does go with a Goblin Hut, Miner goes in there, gets actually destroyed. All right. <gasps> Bully Boy right here, my friends. Destroy all of those Goblin Huts. Now, he might go Drag something here. If he does, I'm going to go Infernal Dragon. What do you got for this, my friend? Oh, he's angry. Why are you angry? You got Drag Skeleton and Goblin Hut deck. Be mad at me, Bros. Key. I'm going to go with this for Drag Skeleton. There it is. Should melt it down pretty nicely. Uh, I'm not gonna go graveyard here. Cause that push is gonna die to the, uh, what do you call it there? Wait for it. Let's go with Valkyrie right here. Come on boys, get in there Valkyrie, please. Destroy the spears. You got some more to do. Let's go. Mega Mini goes down. Valkyrie destroys all the spears. I'm gonna go graveyard by itself right now. If it does anything, we freeze it all down. What do you got about this, my friend? Poison spell? Oh. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So, guards back here. We're gonna get a Buller going on left lane as well. All we need is Double Superior, a Buller on offense, a Graveyard, and then Freeze. We just destroy absolutely everything. So, so far, all I've really been trying to do right now is just play defense. And I think we've been doing a pretty good job of that so far. Let's go in front tower for this. Let's just ignore that Miner. Get in there with one of those. Freeze the Graveyard right now. Wait, what? That makes no sense, Shane. What is the freezing of the Graveyard, my friend? Arrows is down. Get that dead, please. Yes, sir. Come on, Bowler. Get in there, please. <laughs> Bowler gets a ton of tower damage done. One more Bowler rocks that tower. Even with a poison in his deck, we're still destroying. Yo, why would you go minor that lane? Tower right lane is weaker, my friend. Just a little pro tip for you. Go, go right lane next time. All right, we're going to go all in here, boys and girls. Even though he's got poison in his deck, we can still destroy this strategy. It's actually not even fair. Freeze right here. Let's go. Come on, Falcon. Get in there. Melt it all down, baby. Melt it down, girl. Buller goes in there as well. And every single time, we're getting an insane amount of tower damage done. It is actually beautiful. I'm gonna go Buller right now. Guards for this miner here. Pushing up the miner over to the guards area. And then we can go yoink over here with the giant skeleton. <laughs> Dude, I love your deck. It's super interesting, but honestly, it's just not gonna be enough for you today, my friend. Look at this. Guards get in there. He's gonna give up. Yeah, he's gone. He's out of here. That freeze was honestly an accident. But either way, I'm perfectly okay with that battle. Good game. Well played. Oh, this guy's super aggressive. Let's go Valkyrie right here. Should not get the king to activate it. But that's impossible. Because it's too far away. But it was worth an effort, right? It was worth an honest try. I'm going to go with a definite graveyard freeze in this counter push, my friends. It should be somewhat spicy. We'll see how she goes. What do you got for this, buddy? Cannon card? Oh, we can go one of these. And one of these. Oh, we can't arrows that down. I mean, we, we could arrows. We did arrows down, but I can't freeze it. That's what I meant to say. If he goes Goblin Barrel here, we just go Bowler. Oh, Bowler right here. Should that the Goblin Barrel is go? The entire Goblin Barrel is dead, and it knocks back the Knight as well. You'll love to see a Clash Real. That is a neat little trick you can do with the Bowler right there, is actually deny the entire Goblin Barrel with one Bowler. And we've got a Knight in there as well, which is extra spicy. You'll love to see it. Let's go. Um, just going to go Guards back here for now, to be honest, dude. Just because that uh, Dark Elm is going to be coming in hot. Once the Dark Elm gets closer, we're going to go Valkyrie here. But until then, we wait for it and go Valkyrie right now. 
I'm gonna save my graveyard. Obviously, our deck is pretty expensive. So we're gonna save our graveyard here until this next push. Because it can't gonna be dead. He's got Dark Oven not in rotation currently. So we can go graveyard up in this business. And we can freeze down whenever he does some defense. Sir, I'm gonna freeze this. Boom, baby. East Break goes down right now, right? And further locks on. Arrows goes down right here for Oh no, wait! The tower's already dead! If we're locks on! You see what I mean? Patience is rewarded with this strategy. We knew that we could not defend everything there earlier on. And as a result, we soaked some tower damage, saved our elixir, went in for a counter push later on, and actually destroyed that tower. Very, very happy with that push there. Destroying log bait cycle. And I believe he's gonna, is he gonna leave this battle? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just- I don't know what it is with this deck, but literally I've had so many players rage quit against this strategy. Uh, every single battle that I win with this deck, the opponent just ends up leaving. <laughs> it is beyond bonk. Let's go free spell right here. He honestly had a lot of good responses too for the graveyard. East Spirit and Dark Owen are phenomenal responses for the graveyard. Um, overall though, good game, buddy. Well played. Wizard goes in there, destroys the Infernal Dragon. Dark Prince goes down. Uh, let's go a Valkyrie over here. Does the Infernal Tower target the Wizard? I hope it do. And it does. Nice, nice, nice. I'm okay with that. So, here's the plan right now. New plan. Valkyrie destroys the Dark Prince. Then we go Graveyard, Counter Push. We freeze whatever he does on defense. Log goes down. Oh! Should have arrows that down, but I didn't. Uh, and as a result, don't get a whole lot of tower damage dealt. Does he do anything else here? I want to get some more arrows value, my friend. What do you got for me? Anything else for arrows? Nah, let's just go guards right now. Pull it over with one of these. Thank you, guards. I'm going to keep my arrows. He doesn't know we have arrows yet, so what I want him to do is I want him to think he's safe with the minion horde. Then we're gonna crush all of his dreams with the arrows as well. Hello, Mr. Sparky. Hi. Who invited you to the party, my friend? All right, where'd he go? Valkyrie with a graveyard left lane. If he goes Skarmy, we freeze it. If he goes not Skarmy, we don't freeze it. Either way, though, we're gonna go one of these right here. That should destroy the wizard as well as the Sparky for Lucky. Does he go minion horde right here? Sparky's gonna destroy? Sparky is absolutely melted by the Infernal Dragon! Oh, what? Royal G? Up in this busy? Yo, what? Okay, dude, your deck is nasty! Royal Giant Minion Horse Sparky. Oh, I'd love to see it. Let's go one more grave right here, boys and girls. We have Freeze and... Oh, he's gonna air my King Tower. Boston, my friend. I thought you were back to business, buddy. What kind of business is that? Arrows in my King Tower, sir. Uh, let's go for the three crowd. <laughs> Minion Horde, Royal Giant, Sparky. I like the strategy. Definitely toxic, but you know what? This is Clash Royale, and it fits the bill. My friend, good game. Well played. All right, here we go, boys and girls. Jumping against our dear friend Gilbert, running a Dark Oven at the Bridge kind of strategy, my dude. Actually nasty. Oh, he's got Electro Wizard, too. Honestly, that's not too bad. We can go bullet right here for the Electro Wizard. Maybe a Graveyard Freeze on his counter push. But it depends on what he's got in his deck. He might have Infernal Dragon. I have a feeling he's got some sort of Inferno something. Graveyard, I choose you, my friend. Uh... Oh, let's go one of these. Come on, boys. Am I overcommitting? Probably. But honestly, we got some Katara Diamonds up right there. Let's go. <gasps> Mega that goes down. Oh, no. Uh, that sucks. Especially if he's got any sort of swarm with this. If he's got... He's got E-Wizzy too, eh? Oh, my dudes. We might be in some major trouble right now, boys and girls. I'm gonna go Valkyrie right- oh! Right here, Valkyrie. This is the only way, right? Destroy is that down. We get the, uh, majority of that dead. This needs to stop now! We gotta go Bullet right here, right? Oh, it's not in time! Oh no, but the Mega Knight's still dead, please? Ooh, that was so close. So I knew he had the Electro Wizard in rotation, which is why I didn't go Infernal Dragon. That's why I opted to go Valkyrie instead. Because I knew he had the E-Wizard ready to go. And I think overall, like, it was an okay D. Like, it was an alright D, my friends. Ooh, this is gonna hurt, my friends. I wasn't in time, my friends. I was like a, a fraction of a microsecond away from having that succeed. Either way, though, uh, we can still win. It doesn't feel as satisfying, but we can still win, boys and girls. We just gotta play a lot better. We gotta focus up and... Make a solid dub right here, boys. I think we can do it, but the question is, is can we do it? Sir. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Fertile D right here, just to see how my dear friend's gonna rock right now. Sir, what you doing over here, boy? Let's go Valkyrie slow push. Prince goes down. All right, so if we play a successful defense into this offense here, 
We should be solid for a dub. Like, very, very solid here, my friends. Feral Tyra right here. Let's go. Post the Mega Knight away. Destroys the Mega Knight entirely. He was he goes in there. That's my bowler right now, right? He was he goes in there. He's gonna go bats right here. We can go guards graveyard now. Where's your dark up, my friend? Where's your guards? Where's your bats? Freeze right here. Let's go. He wants to go. He, he can't go dark up in time. This is what I mean. The comeback in the dream is mine, my friends. Sir. <laughs> Man, I'm dead. All right, let's go bullet right now. I'm just gonna play defense. If we can defend this and not lose, we can win. Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert. Why do I feel like I know who you are, my dear friend, Gilbert? If you like me and you, Gilbert, we go way back, my friend. Yes, yeah, see the double infernal destruction. Even though he has the electro. Okay. <gasps> Whoa, 249. Yo, so close, Gilbert, my friend. Good game and also well played. Uh oh, jumping in against a magic archer, Ronnie, my friend. How's that cookie tasting? That's pretty good. Pretty good, eh? Yeah. Want to share? I don't think so. Ooh, a Sparkinator. It will. If that is the case, I'm gonna get an Inferno Tower right here. We're gonna try and keep our free spell as a secret sauce card. He might go something in front of that Valkyrie right there, right? Oh, dude, get the freak out of here with your disgusting, disgusting deck there, bud. I have a feeling he's gonna have like Inferno Dragon or something like that. Let's go. All right, cool. So that's dead. Um, Infernal Dragon, please just destroy the spears. This guy's deck is actually nasty. Goblin Hut, Earthquake, Sparky? Yo, what happened, Claude Friel? Why is everything so nasty these days? Honestly, why is it all nasty? What's that you say? Always has been? Well, now we know. So he's gonna go probably Mini P.E.K.K.A for this, right? What do you got for this, bud? Mini P.E.K.K.A, Skarmy, Goblin Giants, Arrows. What you got, buddy? Hello. Oh, a Magic Arch chair. Aha, <laughs> this is my tower, you nub. <laughs> Sorry, that's rude, I apologize. But I don't really wanna use my, uh, what do you call it? If I do one of these, no, no, Clash Real, no. I'm telling you right now, no. That does not happen. That free spell was definitely 100% on time. I don't know. Am I going crazy? Sometimes I feel like when I drop a card, there was like an extra half a second delay before it goes down, like the Clash Real servers are like lagging or something. But maybe I'm just trying to make excuses for not dropping the, the card down on time. What do you guys think it is? Option A or option B? Is Clash Real crazy or am I crazy? I, I need to know. I'm gonna go Valkyrie Grave right here, right lane. I've got a free spell for something if he goes something. Minion Horror Hunter goes down there, eh? Ooh, is he Magic Archer as well there, boys? Ooh. But, we got some respectable tower damage down there, eh? I'm kind of okay with it. I'm definitely okay with that for now. Uh, I'm gonna go down that Hunter there. He's gonna go Earthquake right here. Let's go in front of the right now. I love your deck, dude. It's actually kind of interesting. So that melts that down. I'm gonna go Bully Boy here. Spark is gonna destroy. Let's go Valkyrie in front of this Jazz with one more graveyard. This has to be the way, boys and girls. It has to be. Otherwise, we just lose, right? Freeze this down. Let's go. Maybe that freeze is all committal. I don't know. I don't make the rules. But the Bullard goes in there. Gets that tower as well. We got a lot of stuff coming at us right here, but we should be okay to honestly ignore half of that. And just try and go in with another push here, boys and girls. Guards back here. Get one more uh, Valkyrie Graveyard free, just because that way he can't go offense. If we go Valkyrie Graveyard here, he cannot afford to go offense. So we should be somewhat okay. Freeze the sounds go. Valkyrie goes in there. Valkyrie goes in there. Guards go down. Yes! Counter pressure is the way to go with this deck, dude. Roddy, my friend, good game, well played, and what a combat. After missing that free spell, we still win the game. Oh no, an Archer Queen, my dear friend, feel. Why you gotta use that nasty card? I mean, I understand, if you have Archer Queen, makes sense, use it. Most broken card in the game right now. We're gonna go Bowler right here. He's gonna go, oh, Piggies. My dear friend, Piggies, meet the Valkyrie. Valkyrie, hello, Piggies. Hello, Valkyrie. Oh, Bowler destroys that. I'm gonna go Grave Red Freeze right now. Just, we're gonna ignore the Arch Queen here. Graveyard goes down. He might have a real delivery and a fire spirit. There's the delivery. Freeze all of this right now. Oh, the log goes down too, I. Either way, though, Valkyrie gets in there. Graveyard gets some respectable tower damage done. The Valkyrie gets two spins down to 1900 health against one of the top decks in the entire game. I'm definitely okay with that right now. Go guards back here. I, we can't really do anything right now. He's gonna go Arch Queen again, probably. 
Let's go Bowler on the right hand side of the arena. He's rocking that fast cycle Royal Hog Earthquake strategy that basically a lot of the best players in the game are using. It's the most popular deck in like grand challenges and stuff. Uh, let's go Valkyrie here again though, eh? That should be all right. Should be respectable tower defense. He's gonna go ability again, as they do. Come on, Bowler, don't die, my friend. Sir, please don't die, bully boy. Hmm, you did die, my friend. We cannot afford a graveyard this time. Either way, though, we should be okay. Skeletons here or spirit? Delivery or spirit? Skeletons it is. Inferno Tower. He's gonna go Earthquake right here, right? EQ goes down. It does. Does he load the Skeletons down too or now? Either way, I'm okay with that defense. Uh, I'm gonna go Valkyrie Graveyard here, left-hand side of the arena. See what we can make happen this time. He goes one of those. We can freeze this down. Let's go, boys. He, he locks it back as well, right? Does he go log here? He does. But... We can go Buller right here, my friends. Guards here as well. Why, why would you hit those? Hit the ones that are closer to you, my friend. You nub. <laughs> oh, dude, we got a Valkyrie full health left side of the arena. We can still make this work. We've got to play a little bit stronger now. Because now or never is where we make it happen, boys and girls. Inferno D Graveyard here. He just wasted an Archer Queen. He literally just wasted Archer Queen. Delivery there. We freeze it down. Let's go. He locks it back right here, right? We arrows us all down. Let's go. Inferno Tower locks on. That should be game. Inferno D locks on. Feel. Dude. Yo, what? Why would you cycle Archer Queen left lane before I went graveyard? Buddy. We just beat one of the best strategies in the entire game. Oh, dude. What? I have Bowler in there. I, uh, Clash Royale. I really thoroughly enjoy it. When I got a building and a Bowler, both of which would be great responses for a Ram Rider. And I get neither of them in my opening rotation. Like, I got two answers. Who goes Ram Rider opening play and then I just don't have the response for it? We gotta soak some tower damage done. That kind of sucks, but like, you know what? It'd be what it'd be, my friends. Oh, it's gonna be a, uh, probably a Mega Knight strategy, to be honest. Let's go Grave Raid right now. Let's overcommit, because overcommitting is fun. He's got poison too. Really, Clash Roy. Really, my friend. Either way, my Inferno melts his. My Inferno is superior. Locks onto his tower. Let's go, dude. Yes, sir. And he wastes his Zaspel as well. So I'm going to go Valkyrie here, right side of the arena. I do not like seeing that Prince in there. That is a problem, my friends. Unless, if we get Inferno Tower down here, we should be somewhat okay, my friends. Let's go like this. Oh, there's the Mega Knight, the beefy boy, the Mega Knight. We know he's got a an Electro Wizard in there. The question is, is where and when do I want to use my Bowley Boy? Right here, maybe? Guards up in this business, please, boys and girls. Oh, he's got in front of his own. Okay, where'd that come from? Shane, you saw it earlier, my friend. Okay, sorry, I didn't see it. Yes, you did. He's gonna zap this one down, right? He's gonna go zap right here. Guarantee he's gonna zap it down. Then he's gonna go Ram Rider. No zap. The mysterious sir with the no zap spell. All right, my dude. Where is your Ram Rider, buddy? We got an Inferno Dragon right here. Let's go. Melt the Ram Rider Inferno, please. Yes. <laughs> okay, he just overcommitted. Let's go hard here now, boys and girls. Let's go hard here. Just way overcommitted. Freeze this down. Let's go, dude. Come on, graveyard build up, buddy. Valkyrie here. Let's go. Come on. Yes. Why would you poison an offense, Mark? You knew I had Graveyard. Marky Mark, my friend, why would you do that? Anyways, guys and girls, that is the end of the video. Here's the deck one more time if you want to give it a try yourself. Also, make sure to follow my Facebook page through the link in the description down below where I post extra bonus content five days a week, oftentimes with variety gaming as well. Lots of cool stuff happening over there. Link down below. But it's the end of the video. Thank you so much. We shall see you in the next one.